All right, LDBC, Digital Boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison, live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Guys, I got Janice Gomez here, fresh off of her AKA Rider Passage 3 victory. Okay, she did an awesome job. Janice, how you doing this Saturday? Oh, Jesus. I'm doing good in yourself. Hey, I'm doing good. I'm glad to be sitting here and I get to interview you. That That's what I'm glad of. I'm thankful that you just allowed me to interview you. So thank you. <laughs> No, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, young lady, we finna get right into it. We finna get right into this. Girl, you had a great victory last night, but you and I came to mint. A little bit of bad blood. Before, after, during the fight. I mean, you know, what's going on with all that beef? Okay. No, uh, I, every fight I go to, I'm very, I'm very bitchy. I'm very salty because we're both going to be in the cage for one reason. And only one of us can walk out, you know, winning. So uh, it's a mental game. I need to get in your head. I need to, once we're in that cage, everything just goes out. Did you think you were very successful um, getting in the cage to men's head last night? Um, I think, yes, at weigh-ins I was. I feel like she hadn't had someone step up to her in that certain kind of way. So I feel like it really bugged her that me being several years younger than her would do that to her. I'm going to tell you, Jameez, in my opinion, I, I think I, I think her team, and I think she underestimated you. I think they completely underestimated you by the body language. I mean, I don't know. Do, do, do you think she underestimated you? Yeah. Or, really? So now, what, what gave you that impression? Um, during, so I got that impression, you know, during weigh-ins after I walked off the stage when she kind of gestured to her body as maybe if I was jealous of something. Um, I got that impression right then and there that she's kind of, she thinks she's going to kick my ass completely. Yeah. And I was like, nope, we can't. We're both going to get in there tomorrow and we're going to see who takes it. Yeah, and Janice, you took this fight on two-week notice. What? I mean, who made that decision for you? Was it you, your team? I mean, who? Um, River Fuller from LFA, she messaged my dad, and she said they're looking for a fighter. So when my dad told me, he's like, you want to take it? And I was like, fuck yeah. Like, um, my, my previous fight against Haley Cohen, I lost. So I was waiting to get another fight to kind of, I guess, get a redemption in a way. Show that... Uh, I'm still going to be in there no matter when or lose. So once they said that, we'll give you a shot. And I was like, you know, I train every day as if it's training camp. So there should be no problem in why I can't take the fight. So. Yeah, you know, I caught, I peeped, I was doing my research on you. And I watched that fight against Halen Cohen. You know what? You actually had a lot of good moments in that fight. And now, you know, I'm like, this, this, I mean, you're only 17. But you were actually doing some veteran things to avoid a lot of damage when she was taking you down. You, you were, you we're avoiding a lot of damage and you know over time man girl you, you you're you very dangerous you're extremely dangerous did they did did, did the yeah. K defense team know a lot about you before you know this fight got the deal got done um no you know we didn't really know much about each other i'm pretty sure all we knew was that we were both stand-up fighters so that's that's pretty much all I knew. So when I went in there, I was figuring it's going to be a stand-up fight. I was like, we're going to put on, uh, we're going to stand there toe-to-toe, -to -toe, put on a show for the people. And it was kind of, that was kind of the opposite. You know, we were on the ground for a good while, kind of wrestling our way. And it ended up, I ended up taking the win in the submission. So it, it caught me off guard too. You know, that was my first win uh, like that. I've never been too much of a ground person. So when I got it, I was like, holy shit. 
that's, that, that was new for me. That was very new for me. But you know, you know, at first, because they were talking, and I'm going to be honest, I'm one of those people, I'm, I'm biased, but I'm a bit balanced. I try to balance it out. I, I am, seriously. But I was getting irritated because, you know, they were announcing like Kay DeMint was this great striker. She was just good striker. And I'm like, wait a minute. Let me start doing my research on, 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 Jan on Janice Gomez. Wait a minute. Janice Gomez can bang. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Janice Gomez got some hands. And she was shocked because she threw a kick. You kind of you caught the kick. You threw a counter right over the kick. And she immediately went to grab you. As soon as you did that, she went to grab you. And I think she realized, yo, this little 17-year-old, this girl can bang. I, I better I better try another route. Because that first punch, and did you feel like that you stunned her a little bit? Yes. When So when you're in the cage and you see that, that punch land, her eyes went, like, really wide. So you're like, oh, yeah, that got her. So my my reaction was, like, she's not. I felt like she never been hit by a girl with such power and technique in a way. So it was really different from her. So her thing was take her to the ground, you know. I feel like maybe she probably watched my last fight and saw how Haley took me down, controlled me really good, uh, kept me down. So I feel like she tried to in a way mock that but it was just a whole nother game it she should have just stayed standing toe to toe <laughs> so let me ask you <laughs> what, what was you thinking when she was in the corner doing this right here the fainting you know doing all this right here you know what what what, what was you thinking um not too much i was like you know she's putting on a show just how she did it way in she's trying to get her fan base she's trying to get the crowd towards her side so I was just like, I'm gonna stay calm, do what I gotta do, and you know, we're both we're gonna have to just put our shit to work. Janice, you came out there like a G, like an OG, like for real. <laughs> you came out, and I'm like, yo, this Gomez girl. Because in round two, I was like, man, I really like this. I like this Gomez. I like her energy, man. I, I hope she can turn it around. And I was like, God, I hope she can turn it around. Because I was like, uh oh, I don't know if she's gonna win this one. Then come round three. Yo, you caught you caught this girl with the right hand, and I'm telling you, that girl she she kind of she got stiff for a minute, and then she kind of recovered and started backing up. I mean, could you could you kind of just take us back through that? Yeah. So, um, in round you know the third round, she went out kicking, just throwing a lot of kicks, and I just heard my dad telling me, "Stay off the cage, baby, stay off the cage," because my dad is in my corner because he's my coach. And so when she started throwing those kicks. I just kept circling, trying to stay off, and um, when I saw that she was throwing nothing but kicks, I was like, counter off of it, counter off of it, a one-two will land perfect, and um, there was a combo, me and my coach were working, and it landed good, so I, was, I heard him go like, again, Janice, throw it again, right as soon as I threw it, the cross landed, and she like stumbled back a bit, so I was like, chase it down, chase it down, and as soon as I threw a kick, and I should have just kept punching, shoot, as soon as I threw a kick, she caught it and dropped me down. And, you know, when I reversed the takedown, ended up on top. And um, we were there for probably a couple seconds. You know, I was just trying to control her, keep my hips towards her so that way she can't take me down from there. And we, in, like, rolled over. Mm -hmm. And we were about to stand back up. I felt my arm, you know, just in the guillotine choke. And I was like, oh, fuck it, take it. Yeah. So yeah. I just dropped right into it. Yeah, I saw it there. I felt it. It was a very good position. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take it. And as soon as you, you know, you had a sunk in, and then you wrapped your, you wrapped your legs around her, and I knew then yeah. it was over. I knew it was over. As soon, and I kept saying to myself, girl, okay, just get your legs. Just wrap your legs around her. You got it. You got it. So I'm sitting here like at the screen. Come on, put your legs around. Her. Get her. And then, you know, I'm sorry. I, I was a little biased. That's fine. But you, you yeah. had her. You had it choked in, and you know, she was trying to get out. I knew she wasn't going anywhere. It was over. And she wisely tapped out because she was about to go to sleep. It was it was about to be a night night. That's what it was. Yeah. Um. Uh, you, you know, I never. Uh, after where she want to go? I had never won like that. So my thing is, I like to I like to stand in bed. I like to put on a show for the people. So I wanted to immediately stand back up and knock her out. I wanted to put. I just wanted to punch her in the face and put her to sleep. But I knew she was a hometown fighter, so hometown fighters always have that advantage. So I knew that if I didn't end it, uh -huh. and it was the last round, she was going to take it, no matter 
if I was able to beat her up and she didn't get knocked out. I had to just, I had to put her out. I had to end it. If not, you know, she would have taken it. Yeah, well, you ended it. You ended it very impressively. Now, you know, I'm going to be honest. You know, now, I'm, I, I look at every part of the fight on down to, you know, in the corner. You know, what you're doing in the corner. You know, on down to, you know, how you keep your separation. On down to how you manage your, your stamina. See, I, I look at all of this stuff. But, you know, the one thing I was really getting irritated about, it was the commentating. And it was um, I felt like that they were giving, you know, her to win. And she's a good fighter. They were giving her to win already before, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's one more round, you know. They were already talking about how well she was doing and all this stuff. And I would see you just land like a serious, vicious right hand. And, and it's like, it just, you, you had to force them to talk about what you were doing right because when you did it right, it was spectacular. When you landed a right hand, it was spectacular. When you followed up with one of your jabs, I mean, you know, and I'm like, and I started wondering, I'm going to ask this girl, do you have a boxing background? Because I, I, I got to believe it. <laughs> yeah, I started off boxing. That is my, that's my base. That's my strong point. That's, I, I love to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and just, I like to box. It's amazing. So, um, before the fight, you know, I was planning on taking a couple of boxing fights. And that's pretty much all I was working on. So, during my training, well, my training session, I mainly work, I work my boxing coach every day, McMahon Joe. So we're working, we work a lot of, you know, fast combos, but we also work a lot of basics because basics is what, that's what helps you. I mean, you're not going to go in there and throw a fucking 10 punch combination and land every single one of those punches and knock her out. Like, out of those 10 punches, three to four will probably land. So, you know, we always stick to the basics and the one, you know, every time I landed, those are the combinations we work in the gym. Those are the combinations for hours on end, she'll be like, you need to keep your fucking hands up. Every time I drop my hands, I get a slap across the face. Every time I throw a punch wrong, I get pushed up. I get extra conditioning. Um, boxing is a big part of my uh, my training. Very I can big tell. Part. I can tell. I, I knew you had when I when, when I actually saw your stance, and I started thinking this girl's a boxer, and um uh, and I was like because you were coming out and I said this girl's a boxer, and um they were saying that well Kay's got all this stand up, I, and I said this this comments girl can box. This girl can bang. <laughs> And as soon as you threw the first punch and as soon as she realized that she couldn't stand with you, she immediately tried to grab you. And that was the whole fight. Like, she would test the water. She would throw a kick here. She would try. But then as soon as you, uh, you know, delivered an effective counter, she would immediately clinch and try and take you down. And that's that's what it was, you know. And I was like, whoa, you know. Yeah, hold, hold on really quick. What happened? Oh, you want to go have lunch with this? No, it's okay. I'm fine. No, go have lunch with this. They're just standing there right now. We ain't going nowhere. It'll be all of us. You know you're already an adult, too. No, it's okay. I'll feel peanut anymore and we can go out. They're gonna by the time they're done, we're still gonna we're gonna come back. It's okay. I'll be fine. <laughs> I just want you to run. Okay, well can I finish the uh, the interview? Oh. This is my dad. He's my coach. Oh, sir. There he is hey, right there. The man. I saw him in the corner. I saw this guy in the corner. I I yeah. saw this guy in the corner right here. Dad, how you doing, yeah. man? I seen Yo, this guy was giving you some... Hey, he kept you calm. This guy right here is good. <laughs> this guy know what yes. he's doing. How you doing, Dad? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm doing good. I, I, uh, and it was... Last night, I'll tell you what. Last night was an experience. Uh, both girls gave one hell of a show. And after all, I mean, it's a spectator sport. Uh, both were caddy. Both, uh, <laughs> that, you know, that's what people want to see. You know, it it was a it was, it was good all, all around, and uh, we look forward to another one. But Dad and Janice, I was a little irritated that they could have made a concession so you guys can give the post fight talk. Like I, I was wanting to hear her immediate thoughts after the fight, and I, I kind of hate how they just escorted Janice out of the the area. I'm like, come on, man, yes. come on. Yeah, you know that that's what that's what crossed my head too. I was, uh, well, she didn't get to get her hand raised. Yeah. Although you know, uh, you know it, it's a uh, it's something a fighter wants. Um, that's the first time I, I never saw a fighter get their hand raised, but that that's okay. Uh, I, I understand the situation. Um, you know, it was it was it was good. It was exciting. It was good for her. It was good for us. It was good for them. It was good. It was good for the people that paid for the tickets. Most importantly, yeah, I paid you know, for that pay per view, uh, man. Yeah. That thing was good. 
<laughs> I, paid, I paid for that. Hey, I paid. I, I got everything. That was a good show. That's better than, like, I'm serious. That's better. That whole show was better than a lot of the, the UFC cards that I've watched this year. I mean, it was a lot of action. A lot of action. But I got to. Yeah. What, Dad and Janice, what was the deal with all the bad blood between the teams? Okay, now Janice and Cade were going at each other. Then the teams went at each other. What, what was going on? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm, I'm, it's, I'm more than sure it. Uh, when once one side sees another side's corner go in the cage, it's all game. It's game on. You know, nobody knows what's going to erupt. It's just to have your your fighters back. Nobody ever wants anything to happen to their fighter. So uh, you know, they went in. We went in. You know. Uh, you know, Texas brings it. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know, we bring it. You know, ain't nothing, ain't nothing better to do here than drink beer and fight. When the beer's done, <laughs> all we're gonna do is fight, buddy. Yo. That's it. That's you what know, I'm it's, talking about. Uh, yeah, <laughs> man. Drink man. beer, fight, and have fun. So now, uh, but uh, oh no, I'm go sorry, ahead, Dad. Go ahead, Dad. Now you got to finish your thought, man. This is this is the good. You got to finish it, Dad. Yeah, yeah. No, but I mean, uh, uh, you know, but basically we saw them go in. We went in. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, they, 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 you know, uh, refs, uh, everybody else got things situated. Uh, it was, it was good. It was fun. It was, uh, you know, it kind of, it, let, it lets you know that, Hey, you know, it's real, you know, people think that, you know, what a MMA, a lot of people think MMA is, you know, a joke. I tell you what, it's not, you know, if you, you want to brawl, you're going to brawl, even corners brawl. Let's bring it. If she, if she wants a, she wants a rematch, we'll bring it. Uh, uh, and uh, you know, we we thought she was gonna come in standing and banging, but I'll tell you what, there ain't. I'll tell you right now, and I'll tell everybody else, there is not one person who is willing to stand and trade blows with my daughter, cause my daughter will straight up knock you out. <laughs> I will tell you, yeah, my Dad, daughter will straight up knock you out. Yeah, uh, my my daughter, uh, my daughter, if you put her uh, her entire career together, she's eight and one with six knockouts. And she'll knock anybody out that's willing to go toe to toe with her. Guarantee you, I will be willing to bet my whole money on it. She will knock anybody out that is willing to stand and trade straight blows with her. Mr. Gomez, break. Yeah. I see, I see, I see where she get it from. I see she get it from this man, <laughs> this man right here. Dad, I'm excited. I'm excited. But Janice, now I I I gotta ask, okay? When the fight was over, when as soon as the fight was over, and Dad, you got to hang around, Dad. Come on, Dad. Can't go nowhere. As soon as the fight oh, was no, over. Oh, no, yeah, I'm here at the small okay, camera. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, good. As soon yeah. as the fight was over, what did you say to Kay DeMint? As soon as you ended, like you, you got the guillotine, you stood up. <laughs> what did you say? Because she got mad. I was just yelling, yeah, because my – my first reaction when she tapped was, bitch, you ain't shit. Like, you thought you can wrestle me around the whole time. So when I, when, once I felt that tap and I let go, I was like, yeah, yeah. Like, I was just happy. So I went running around the cage, and, you know, I went around to go shake her hand. You know, you got to – she took the fight. Hey, you know, we both went in there and put our shit to work. And she kind of flinched at me. So I was like, oh, shit, I know she's in a swing. So I threw a couple punches, and that's when both corners came in. And see, and that's when it got very chaotic. And let me tell you something. See, I'm gonna tell you the reason why I look at everything. They tried to make it seem like that you initiated it. See, I, I'm telling you, the meet. They tried to make it seem like that you were the one that initiated it. They were trying to make. You know, I told you I was. I was really pissed off about this whole announcing thing. I was really irritated because right. I thought that the announcers. I thought that her team. They underestimated you. They were underestimating you when you walked in the cage. They underestimated you before the fight. And they thought that they had some mental advantage over you. You went at 17 years old. You broke the mental barrier. You just went in, and you just didn't give two fucks. Excuse me. And then you went in. Yeah. And just, you did exactly. exactly what you did. So I, I was impressed. And I knew. I knew for. I knew you were just happy. And they got ticked off. And they ran in there because they were mad. See, I'm telling you. I, I saw it. That's what I saw. That's yeah, what I saw. Yeah, they were saying I spit in her face. I was like, oh, I would never do that. Yeah, that's what they said. That's, and that's yeah. what they announced. I don't mean cut. That, you know what? I was so irritated. You know how many times I watched to see if that's what happened? That's not what happened. You got up, and you may have nope. said something. To, but they tried to say you spit, and, that, and it, it irritated me because in this sport, you know, stereotypes run rampant in this, stupid, in this sport. And I was getting irritated for you because that's not what you did. And I knew for a fact you didn't yeah. spit. 
And I can tell, I I can tell a person who, you know, you were just excited, you know, you elated. Then they said you spit on us. So I, I, I kind of lost a lot of respect for these people announcing because they were pro, they were biased. So, okay, here, I'm here. I got a channel and I'm, 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 now I'm biased. So I can be as biased as I want and say good job. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, when I heard that they thought I spit in her face, I was like, holy cow, like, hold up. I was excited. I got in her face, and yeah, I screamed, but I did not spit. You know, if I spit in someone's face, I expect to get knocked out. Yeah, yeah I expect, I to, expect, I'd expect bad yeah. expect bad juju to come to you. Yeah. <laughs> and if you are dad, you seem like a man of great integrity here. And see, I, I, I know you don't teach your children to do stuff like this. So, oh, you know, don't, don't get punched straight in the face by me if that ever happened. And see, yeah. No glove. And me talking to you, I, I know for a fact that this young lady didn't do this. Man, you know what? And I'm glad you had a chance to air it out because I, I, look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to post this video wherever I'm, I, wherever people can live. <laughs> I'm going to post it because it's, it's, it's ridiculous. You know, you, you had an impressive win. They were upset. That's just how it is. Yeah. It, uh, she, uh, you know, her, her background is a strong background in boxing. And not a lot of people know how far back it goes. And I won't disclose that. Uh, but you know, it's uh, uh, I've always brought them up. I brought them up very tough. I was very strict with them. You bring me home anything less than an 85, expect expect something when you get home. Uh, yeah, you better expect. A B always means you can do better. And uh, you know, training. They ever whine when they were little training. Uh, if if we were on round 15, getting ready to go home, well, you you whine. We're getting ready to go back to round one. Yeah, it happened. And uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's just uh, you know, it uh, it kind of. I was expecting a great fight between a st- well, with, between two stand-up fighters. I thought it would have been great for the people. Uh, you know, win or lose, I would have thought it would. It's. I always tell my daughter, win or lose, you give you give your all, you train your best, you fight your best because it's a spectator sport. People people pay money to go see you fight, so you give it your all. Come on, Mr. When, Gomez. Uh, you saw that first counter right hand. You knew she wasn't going to stand. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then I mean, I mean, if I want to watch a wrestling show, I'd go flip it up to WWE and start watching wrestling. I'll tell you what, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah Ronda Rousey you know, over like, there right now. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. You know, and um, I, I, but I, I, I do make sure she gets in her hours on the ground because after. After all, that's what MMA is. You know, I can't knock on it because MMA, it's all around. So it's about well, a well-rounded fighter. And uh, but once I saw her take down, I was all like, hmm, I think she watched the Haley Cowan and uh, Janice Gomez fight. And I, and I think she thought she was going to have it the same way. And we corrected some errors. And, uh, you know, n- nothing changed in the camp. We just corrected some errors and uh, just went forth with it. And But she had always been training on the ground, so it was, it was there was no change. We just corrected some stuff. Now, I noticed this fight, too, from that first when you fought Haley. Um, I noticed in the Haley fight, you didn't use a guard as, as good. But in this fight, I can see the adjustment that you actually put her in a guard. And, uh, you know, that helped you prevent, you know, from you taking a lot of damage. I mean, you, you put her in – I mean, as soon as she got your back down – you actually put her in your guard. So I was like, man, okay. So that's the difference. I mean, I watch fights all the time. That's what I do. And I watch them. I'm right. like, wow, man. Okay. Yeah. So right. a, a, a lot of good help came from a Joel Dominion MMA on the ground. He's a wrestling coach, badass trainer. Uh, a lot of the help, especially, it came from uh, Ray, uh, Ray, uh, Ray Rodriguez out of Dominion MMA, the owner. Man, he's solid. Her stand up game is all about mid man Joe. Man, he there's 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 nothing that comes next to him guaranteed. Yeah. You know, uh, this this chick right here, straight up knock you out. You know? <laughs> yeah. 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 That's a reason I was expecting hey. a stand up yeah. fight because we're both. You know, she's had she had a couple of tie fights. I had just about the same amount of tie fights. We both had. Um, this would have been her second MMA fight. My third MMA fight. And uh, we had the same amount of boxing matches, so I was assuming, you know, we're gonna stand there and we're gonna stand toe to toe and bang. But I was expecting stitches all over the place on each other's uh, yeah, fighting I was face. To Everybody come home. giving high fives and ex- <laughs> yeah, well, well, it looks like we exchanged a high five for 
for the for the middle fingers in the face walking out. But hey, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, walk, when they yeah. Us out, it was. Uh, yeah, people crazy. were throwing us a finger in the face, but hey, that's all right. Bring on the bad as well as the good. We'll take we'll take them both just as equally. Yeah. Was, now, Dad, I'm that assuming. Brilliant? Yeah. I'm assuming that I, I think you gave it his nickname, and I saw this nickname, man. Uh, what the, the new bad girl of women's MMA is that? Was that you that you put that video? No, up? no, I, no. That was actually uh, Texas MMA Roundup that gave her uh, that gave her that name. Wow. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, originally she she was a Janice the Beast Gomez, which still sticks. But uh, when Texas MMA Roundup came with that, I was all like, you know what? You kind of are. Yeah. yeah. I like so, that. so okay. I like so. To bring a little drama, you know. Well, you know what? It it is entertaining because I I stay glued. I stay glued the whole time, and you know what? I think they'd be really silly not to have you back to actually do it again. Because I'm telling you, I watched. I was like, oh, man, it's another amateur fight. But then you know, yeah. but when I saw you come out, and I saw first, I saw your first interview, and I'm like, oh, this girl. This girl finna give us some problems, and then uh, when I saw I saw the, I saw the weigh in and I saw the stare down, I'm like, yeah, this comments girl, she's pretty tough. And I had one of my buddies here. We both watch MMA. I don't know. I think the Cage Demint girl is gonna get her. I'm like, yo, this comments girl got some fight in her. I I'm, I don't think she a punk. I think this girl can can go in there and and whoop some ass. I said, watch. Yeah. And then you know, in round two, you know, my my, my buddy, you know, we we tight. See, I told you, I told you she's not going to win. And then uh, when you put the guillotine on, he was like, oh, man, you know, she's going to get out of the guillotine. She's going to get out of that guillotine. And she never got out the guillotine. I said, yo, she tapped. Yes. I said, yep, give me my damn yep. money. Give me my money. Yeah, you know? Yeah, at, at 17 years old, I have her. Uh, she, she's been hitting the weights for uh, two years solid already. And uh, so what she doesn't make up in uh, when a woman, a full-grown woman strength, she she makes up in a young young, young body, uh, strong, agile, and that in order to compete with these older women, she's knocked out a 34-year-old. She's knocked out 24, 26, 23, 22. Okay. Yeah, she's knocked them. I mean, I don't mean TKO. She knocked them out. And yeah, uh, yeah it's a, we have to. Uh, she has to put a little more forth effort, and I I keep on having to remind her that that these are full-grown women. They got full woman strength. Something that she has not developed yet. So once she gets to the age where she has developed her strength, man, I can only I can only imagine how much stronger she's gonna be. Wow. Well, guys, with that, with that, Janice. Now, how, how do I say it now? Janice, not Janice the Beast, but how, how do I say the second name? The bad. No, no, no. Well, I know how to say. It. I'm talking about your nickname. The, oh. Oh, the bad girl. The bad girl. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that one just came, so I'm I'm assuming it would be like the bad girl of MMA, Jimmy Scammers, maybe. Okay. The bad girl. I'm not girl. too sure. That, that's a new one for me. Okay. Uh, it was just a beat that first, but <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know, and I was also thinking, uh, you know, if she wanted a rematch, fine, but there'll have to be one stipulation. No <laughs> rules. Full blown elbows. Elbows have to, elbows have to be in. You know, she, if she if she claims she's a tie fighter, you know what? Bring it, bring it. Uh, this, this this chick right here holds the bantamweight title belt from Muay Thai. Bring right. it. I dare you. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. I want to. Um... <laughs> Mr. Godman <laughs> selling the fight. I love it. He's selling this fight, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll I, I, I tell you what. If people think they're the best. They ain't the best until you fought the best. Okay. And, you know, if, if you're willing to stand and bang, let's do it. If you want to do a grappling match, hey, man, let's go to a, a jiu-jitsu, a wrestling match. You, know, <laughs> you want to give the people what they want to see? You want to see stitches? You want to see blood? You want to give the spectators what they want to see? Let's do it. Wow. Man, you're a good dad. I like you, man. You're awesome, man. You're incredible. Well, Janice, any, anybody you guys want to give a shout-out to before I go ahead and close it out? Yes, yes, yes. Um, all my sponsors. Uh, yeah, I got it. Got a couple. I got PRG Asset Recovery and Holding, LA Crawfish, Elite Guardian Smoke Shop, RJ and Sons Motorcycle Towing, Triple A Garcia Bell Bonds. They're about to bail us out last night. If anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was waiting. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. They, they, they were true to their word. They're yeah. all like, "Don't worry, we got you." Yes. 
and then <laughs> there's a triple A and super bombs. I got Boxel and Betty, Mitt Man Joe, Dominion MMA, um, Wendy's Warriors, uh, Hands of Powers. Shout out to Bobby Powers. He, he did it. Oh, and I think that is it. Okay. For my sponsors. Well, awesome. Incredible. And then um, oh. give a shout out to you know my pops. Have my back. It was pretty cool. So <laughs> my brother and sister, you know, uh, we don't get to spend a lot of family time because I'm always training, but they, they really understand it because I'm always hogging my dad up. Yeah. And then, <laughs> oh, my mom. It was a good luck letter. I forgot. She wrote me a little letter before we left, and um, I, I put it in my sports bra, and I totally forgot I had it in there. So after the fight, I put my hand down. I felt something crunchy, and I was like, "What is that?" And I put it on. I was like, "It was a good luck letter for my mother." Wow. Shout out to my mom for giving me that letter. Well, that that's oh, sweet. Oh, oh, forgot. Two sponsors: Bong Fet Muay Thai and Beast Boxing. And Beast Boxing, <laughs> there it is, y'all. Yeah, and Janice, 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 you gotta give me a drop. You gotta give me a drop. Matter of fact, you and Dad say, "Hey, this is Janice," and you know, put your nickname in there. And you're listening to Coach Shelton Harrison. Oh, hi, right, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I was no. over here trying to look at something. Like, hey, oh, yeah, hi. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, what I asked, you know, hey, hey, you know, you probably, I'm going in and out. I just, I just asked, could, 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 could you give me a drop and say, hey, this is Janice the Beast and this is Coach Shelton Harrison. And that, you know, maybe hey. y'all say it together. Let's see if y'all can get in synchronization. Uh, uh, what, what was the name, Coach what? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Coach Shelton Harrison. Coach Shelton Harrison. Yeah. You know what? You can sell that name. <laughs> sell that name. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm I, jealous. <laughs> I, I never tried uh, to sell my name. I never tried it, but okay. Yeah, yeah. You say it. it. It must be true. That's Sheldon, Sheldon Harrison? Yeah. All right. Uh, Coach, yeah. We're over here, San Antonio, Texas, with Janice the Beast Gomez and Coach Sheldon Harrison. Thank you very much for interviewing us. You're the best. Woo! Bring, I mean, uh, yeah, you're, you're, I'll tell you what, man. You, Without you, a lot of fighters will not get their name out there. We need more people like you, and if they can't do it, you're the man to do it. 